Here's a question I would ask you. I would say, what's your product? And you'd know what your product is. But then I'd ask another question. What's your second most important product? The second most important product is your reputation. So I'll tell you a story. My first job was with a company called Saint-Gobain de Jonquer, French multinational. 18 months later, I was vice president of the US division. I called up the CEO in France, Vincent Bastien, and I said, I need to have a meeting. I was driving so much money to this company, I got away with it. They gave me my meeting. I said, I want to meet you, I want to meet your two top guys, and I want to meet the head of the factory. So I, I flew to Paris, I went up to La Défense, and I walked in this room, and it was a big, you know, the meeting room, and we made small talk, and finally, Vincent Bastien says, Jan, uh, it is your meeting. So I went to the whiteboard, and that's what I drew. And I said to them, gentlemen, this cloud here, that's our factory. These arrows, these are problems that come into this factory every day. This was a huge factory, it had a couple thousand people. It was running glass for uh, perfume bottles. I said, these problems come in every day. But because this factory has no problem-solving culture, because this factory is a brouillard, a, a fog, I said, these problems, they do what problems do when you don't solve them. They roll around, they get bigger. And they get bigger. And when they get big enough to be called a crisis, they roll up this string and they wind up at one of your four desks, and you solve it. And that makes you experts in crisis management, which is the worst thing you want to be. You could hear a pin drop in that room. All eyes turned to Vincent Bastien. Bastien was staring at me. And after what felt to me like a long time, he said, Ian is right. Which was great. And to his credit, they put a problem-solving culture in that factory. But about seven years later, Saint-Gobain did something that no glass factory had done for over 100 years. They built a factory from the ground up. And they built it in Atlanta, Georgia, because they were dominating the American market. Because they knew how to solve problems at a higher rate than anyone else. So, so they didn't live under this, this, this rubric that we say to ourselves, which is, yeah, it's, we're not, you know, but we're not, we're no worse than anyone else, which I, when I hear that, I just, I lose my mind. Because the opportunity is to be better than everyone else. Be single bound.